Well, we sure do hope that you'll get Crossroads 360 app, that you'll download it, and that'll keep you connected with us just like that. And uh, what a world we live in. And those are some of the good things, the technology, and that's things that are happening. But recently, Jerry, in our documentary series that you've been uh, leading with a great uh, technical team and field team uh, from our Crossroads family, you've been out and seeing some of the real uh, hard stories of life. And uh, we have been talking all week long in this segment about these documentaries that you're doing. Let's focus on the, uh, you know, I call it doctor shopping or doc shopping. So uh, when, when you have uh, an individual that is addicted and they visit two or three doctors and get uh, without the doctors checking each other's uh, references or prescription orders out, uh, there's a, a, a continual supply of drugs going into the, the bodies of individuals who are doing this. And man, you take us inside with this documentary. Well, when we were in Washington, D.C. At, uh, at the Capitol, there was a rally. And then we marched to the Department of Health and Human Services. My honor to march with parents whose children had died due to opiate abuse. Now, we would call that a Schedule II drug in the United States. Mm -hmm. And the big clamor is that it's not regulated. The scenario is simple. A high school kid has a football injury, they break an arm or leg, they go to the doctor, they get a Schedule II drug, what we'd call an opiate, Vicodin, Demerol, whatever. 30 pills later, they don't wanna stop. Mm -hmm. And so they start raiding their, uh, the, the, the friends, their, their prescription cabinets, but get this, in communities across America, there are people, you're in my age, that are actually selling their scripts. And doctors that are abusing the right to prescribe medicine. None was more powerful in Washington, D.C. than Avi Israel as he stood in front of us and he took a bullhorn. And I want to tell you, he made it clear his son is dead and we gotta do something about it. And in a more private setting, you had an opportunity to talk to them, and I think we're ready to take a look at this. Uh, this is from the documentary on, uh, really, doc shopping. When I went to the back window, I heard the shotgun being cocked, and uh, I started to scream for Julie to call 911, and by the time I, that I got to the side door, I heard the shot. So I pushed Julia out of the way and I kicked the door open and um, And the day he died, Michael didn't have any drugs in his system. Prior to that, Michael was on hydrocodone, Xanax, Cymbaltal, all prescribed to him by three different doctors that never looked at each other's or a report. And he was taking probably about 18 other pills for, for Crohn's, for his Crohn's <laughs> medication. He had a lot to handle. He was supposed to do something great in this life. That's what he wrote in one of his journals. He says, um, I was meant to do something in this life for humanity, but uh, my disease has robbed me of that. This is Michael doing this. I'd say the, the, the parent in me looks at that and it just, it's just shattering to see the brokenness and the emptiness of their lives, uh, the sadness. And this story is repeated day after day all across North America. Jim. Every 19 minutes. And I, I just want to reach out to our Crossroads family and tell you that these young people are preventable deaths. And we can reach them. I mean, Avi, the pain that man has. And so to Michael Wright and our production team of working, they're doing the, what they're supposed to do. They're bringing their two loaves and fishes, but it takes money to do this because we have to capture all these stories all over. We're really depending upon our people to call 888-288-0003 and help us. Uh, these documentaries cost on average $109,000 each. They are well done, uh, the highest caliber of production, and the, the better the production, the more compelling the story, hey John, the larger the audiences are uh, that see these. How much is a funeral cost of a teenager like Avi's son? Think about that. And we're talking about thousands. That's right. And what is so beautiful is we're getting traction now. The FDA a week ago, we, today on the front page of the New York Times said, 
were finally hearing parents. And they were hearing us as we were calling, saying, we got a list of questions, give us some answers. These documentaries, so compelling, we come back that there is a faith component in all of this. Absolutely. Because you look at these, there's just such hopelessness on their faces, expressions of sadness, and yet you're there uh, creating conversation about ministry, and then as we present these documentaries, there's that faith component related to Jesus Christ. I've heard so many parents say that God did a miracle. There are some that their kids are alive, others that are quadriplegic, as we'll see in this documentary, and now they go into the schools. So yeah, there's a, obviously a super divine component, and we know that the ultimate remedy is to receive Jesus Christ. I was a druggie, so that's what that's delivered story. me. I can relate. I've been there. Love you, man. Thanks for this. Thanks for this. We are starting a brand new month and ending a week. And uh, we have been trying our very best all week long to present to you some compelling stories in this segment uh, that uh, reflect our, the work we're doing in, in documentaries. These documentaries will be played on channels and stations and uh, various websites uh, uh, for a long, long time to come. Uh, the way we're able to do this is, is very simple. It's because of your help and your generosity. There's a phone number on the screen and we ask you that you'd pick up the phone and that you would call and speak to friends on the other side of the line that'd love to hear from you. If you'd pledge a, a financial contribution, a donation to help us here at 100 Holy Street and Crossroads, we would be profoundly grateful. The number there is one 288 0003 one 288 0003 Just tell the, uh, the, the friend on the other end of the line, uh, our partners here, to say, would, would, you, would you please make sure that my gift goes toward the Ministry of Crossroads? I want to help out on these documentaries where it's so clear and so compelling that people need help, and they need help in the name of Jesus Christ.